Let's identify a, b, and c in this quadratic equation. Since we've been given a quadratic equation, it's a good idea in our first step to make sure that our equation is in the standard form for a quadratic equation. By putting our equation in standard form, it will make it a lot easier to identify a, b, and c. So let's look at that standard form for a quadratic equation. Standard form looks like this. We have y equals a times x squared plus b times x plus c. Here, a is the coefficient or the number that sits in front of x squared. b is the number or the coefficient in front of x. And c is the constant, the number that sits on the end of our equation and has no x value attached to it. That's a, b, and c. So now let's see if our quadratic equation is in standard form. We'll rewrite our equation so we have y equals, then we have x squared plus 12x plus 32. Let's see, is our equation in standard form for a quadratic equation? Yes, it is. We have y equals x squared x and our constant. We're in standard form. That means we can find a, b, and c easily. So in step number two, let's start out by identifying a. Remember, a is the coefficient or the number in front of x squared. So here, a is in front of x squared. So we need to find the number that's in front of x squared. Well, looking at our equation, we have our x squared, but there's no number in front. Here, if you get a problem like this, where you have a term and no number in front, you actually have an invisible one here. If you have a term with no number, there's a one in front. So that means that a is equal to one. Just like we have a times x squared in our standard form, here in our equation, we have one times x squared. So a is equal to one. Great, we found a. Now let's find b. Remember, b is the coefficient or the number in front of our x term. So let's see, b is in front of x. So here's our x term, and in front of our x term, we have the number or the coefficient 12. So that means that b is equal to 12. It's the number in front of x. Great, now let's find c. c is the constant that sits at the end. It's the number that does not have an x term associated with it. Here, c is at the end of this equation. Here's our number at the end of our equation, 32. So that means that c is equal to 32. Great, we found a, b, and c in our quadratic equation. Now remember, when you're finding a, b, and c in a quadratic equation, you need to make sure to bring the sign of that number with it. So let's say that this were a negative 12x instead of a positive 12. If this were a negative 12, then that would mean that b would be equal to negative 12. But since all of our numbers were positive, we have positive a, b, and c values. Now that we found a, b, and c in this quadratic equation, let's look at a few special cases. Let's say you're given this equation, y equals 12x plus 32 and you're asked to find a, b, and c. Well, let's see. If we go to put this equation in standard form for a quadratic equation, we notice that we don't have an x squared term in this equation. Since there's no x squared term in this equation, that means that this equation is not a quadratic equation. If there's no x squared term, there's no quadratic equation, which means that we cannot find a, b, and c, since it's not a quadratic equation. Now let's look at another. Let's say that y is equal to x squared plus 32. Well here, if we set this up in standard form, we have our x squared term and we have our constant, but we don't have an x term in the middle. Well in that case, we could rewrite this as y equals x squared plus 0x plus 32. So we could put a 0x in as a placeholder. That means that our b term, the coefficient in front of x, is zero. So we have an x squared term, which means that we have a quadratic equation. But since there's no x term, that means that b is equal to zero. Let's look at one more case. y is equal 
to x squared plus 12x. Here, we have an x squared term, so we have a quadratic equation. Then we also have an x term, but we don't have a constant. Well, since there's nothing on the end, there's no constant, that's the same thing as adding 0. So we could just add 0 here, and that would be the same thing. That means for this equation, c, our constant at the end, is equal to 0. So now we know how to identify a, b, and c in a quadratic equation. a is the coefficient in front of x squared, b is the coefficient in front of x, and c is the constant.